download the movie right to my phone and take it with me. A few seconds later, I'm on my way. My tablet is the center of my high-performance workspace. When I get to the office, all of my devices connect automatically, and I'm ready to get to work. My external devices become an extension of my tablet. All over the office, we found a variety of applications for YKIM. It's especially useful for group projects. I can automatically connect to my colleagues' devices through the corporate network, so I can focus on the task at hand, not the technology. Whether transforming my thin computing device into a workstation, simplifying interaction with my coworkers, or enabling group participation, YGIG enhances the productivity of any workplace. And YGIG's great at home, too. Remember that movie I downloaded this morning? I can play it right from my phone, and the quality is outstanding. All right, well, to tell us more about what I did and all the exciting progress that's being made, I've invited Ali Sadri, who's chairman uh, and president of the YGIG Alliance, to join me today on stage. Good to see you, Ali. Good to see you. look great. Very San Francisco. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. Um, so, I think the video... Uh, thank you for the opportunity. Thanks for, My pleasure. Uh, for the audience uh, listening to us. Um, the work has been done by multiple of member companies. So I have the pleasure to be able to, to uh, help the group to, to make it happen. Since the inception of the YG Alliance back in 2009, we always had the envision that we need to develop a very high throughput uh, wireless technology that is capable of doing things beyond what Wi-Fi can do. For example, uh, you know, transmit to the televisions, to the monitors, unleashing all the devices from Cables, for example, PC Express, USB, SDI. No more bags. Hopefully, <laughs> maybe you can put something else in your bags, but not necessarily. Oh, I saw device. Apple you introduced a new connector. Oh, yeah, okay, well, you can put that one in there. <laughs> okay. so, so, um, so, we were able, in just a very short time, in a couple of years, bring a concept that you just saw in the video that we produced it before this right. becomes a reality to today that we're very close to the reality. Yeah, we did a good job of that. Now, um, you're up in the 60 gigahertz part of the spectrum, millimeter waves. You know that's kind of that's kind of the new <laughs> the new regime. Um, you know, it's, and you're not the first. You know, YGIG's not the first occupant of that part of the part of the of the um, of the spectrum. So why do we need YGIG? Why, why can't we go with one of the existing 60 gigahertz? Very good question. I've been asked that question many many times. So I'm prepared for that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> As you know, the legacy Wi-Fi devices operate at 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz. Mm -hmm. These frequencies, by definition, are very um, high consumed. So the interference is, is potentially very high. For high demanding applications such as video, uh, you know, synchronization is very high throughput, multi-user applications in the office environment, we need to move into a frequency that is a lot less interference. And that's why we chose 60 gigahertz. Okay. But we also looked at multitude of applications, as I mentioned, for PC, CE, uh, handheld, handset, you know, ultrabooks, and so forth. Right. So we designed this new standard based on that vision. But that's very reminiscent of Wi-Fi itself. It is. Uh, as a matter of fact, I mean, if you look at uh, some of the board members and the contributors that we have, if we move on with the slide. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> You have the same potentially uh, same characters and the companies involved, and that's why we actually uh, design our system uh, to be based on the Wi-Fi, so we're backward compatible to the Wi-Fi system. Uh, it does uh, the applications what Wi-Fi can do today, plus additional applications that we always discussed about. So, okay, been working since 2009. Now it's you know 2012. When are we going to see something working? Uh, we just did the production, so that's it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're in production. <laughs> I'm sorry, not in this keynote. You'll have video now. <laughs> uh, so if we move into the next slide, we actually turned that vision yeah. a couple of years ago into the reality. You can actually see it, hopefully, in live. Can we do that? Absolutely. Okay. I'd like to ask my, my friend and colleague, George, to help us with the demo. Okay. 
So what you see here, there, there are two monitors mm -hmm. that are connected to the docking station. Wow, two monitors. Two monitors. High def. High definition 1080p's, right? Yeah. And there's the external hard drive and the printer all connected mm -hmm. uh, to the docking station device. Right. And also, let's wake this up first. It's not waking up. Oh, it's, this is off. Oh, supposed to. <laughs> Wake up, though. You know what? It also was on since last night. I think we ran the battery. What's supposed to do? <laughs> well, it's live television, everybody. It's live television. Is it uh, not funny? So I can explain. Okay. So what it was supposed to do, which we oh, he's gonna, he's gonna catch up. Yeah, he's, he's waking it up. I think okay. uh, the laptop went to sleep. Oh, okay. Right. Uh, the device uh, will connect to the docking station. It's not paired yet. Uh, when it connects, it actually light comes off and it's paired. Okay. And, and uh, as I said, all the peripherals and the and the, uh, and the external drive and monitors are connected to the to the uh, docking station. The content that we saved earlier was supposed to show it. Hopefully, we can get it done in, in time. Is that from the hard drive, the the, uh, the content is going to be rendered into the laptop, and then it will transmit back into the monitors. I see. Okay. okay. Right. At the same time, again, we're supposed to have it done, but not not done here. And we have Wi-Fi connections. So not only we have Wi-Fi connections, we also have a complete unleashed environment for the laptop. Mm -hmm. And you know, hopefully it will come alive. One of the one of the main things to look at is, is the size of the laptop in the back is actually you know constrained by the connector. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. So even if, if we we were able to remove all the connectors, we can actually shrink that size in the back as well, that is going to hopefully uh, give you a better and sexier look of the laptop. Super. So when do you think we're going to see this um, actually in the market? Well, uh, this was a, definitely a, a prototype of the wireless docking station. Uh, I assure you it was working yesterday. So <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, it always happens when you have a live demo. And we have several member companies that, that uh, developing the prototype, and, and we went through the uh, two rounds of the test events, okay. and uh, uh, one in 2011 and one in 2012. Uh, we are set for the next uh, event uh, later on this year and the beginning of next year. Our uh, certification program is going to start uh, mid next year, and hopefully, are we connected? It seems like we're fine. Oh, fantastic. So our, our certification program is about to launch uh, in mid 2013. So hopefully the certified products uh, will be shipped shortly after. Okay. And did see one up there they go. There we go. Okay. So we are connected. Hold on, I think that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> okay, so the hard drive is actually now disconnected. So we're going to turn on the hard drive, and the system is going to detect it. Again, the, the Ultrabook is going to detect the external hard drive, right. and it pops ah, the window. Comes up on <clears throat> and we're going to go and choose the video content. And can we get larger? Here you go. And so the video is being, again, rendered from right. the hard drive through this uh, through the Ultrabook, and goes there. And, and again, there's no wire whatsoever. And to make sure that... And assume no connectors. No connectors. Right. And to make sure that this is the system, um, and we're not... No, I don't think anybody will watch your face. Okay, that, it's connected. Okay. Oh, there it goes. There you go. Right. So, all right. If this is probably the best thing can happen to, to all of us that we, we get rid of all the unwanted cables. So when? Hopefully, as I mentioned, uh, right after certification, uh, mid next year, we will see uh, more and more devices in the market, and I look for the data. Now I know why you're in charge of one game. Thanks, Charlie. I'll accept three of